Visual symptoms may include flames, smoke, or visual damage to engine cowlings. It may not be possible to distinguish initially between an engine surge without damage and one accompanying severe damage. The symptoms of the two kinds of events can be very similar, and from an operational standpoint, it is not important to know immediately which of the two has occurred. If it does become necessary to shut down the engine, wait until you positively identify the engine you select as actually being the malfunctioning engine. It should be noted that even an engine which may show signs of visible damage and visible flames may very well be producing useful power necessary for initial climb out. Again, the first priority is to fly the airplane, not the engine. After you have positive control of the aircraft's flight path, then identify and secure the affected engine when time permits. Diagnosis of exactly what caused the engine problem is neither necessary nor safe if it diverts resources from flying the airplane. The malfunctions discussed so far have compelling cues, such as loud bangs, vibration, and warning or advisory messages. In each case, the challenge is to fly the airplane without being distracted by very compelling or alarming engine symptoms. The last type of malfunction to be discussed here is more subtle. Slow decay of thrust or non-response to power lever. These can be subtle in fact to the point that it can be completely overlooked with potentially serious consequences to the airplane. If an engine slowly reduces power, or when the thrust lever is moved, the engine does not respond, then the airplane will experience asymmetric thrust. The problems will most likely develop at a point during the flight when the autopilot is engaged. The autopilot will compensate for the asymmetrical thrust on its own. It takes an alert flight crew to recognize the situation that's developing. If the airplane is badly mistrimmed when the autopilot is manually disconnected, or when the autopilot reaches the limits of its authority and automatically disconnects, only seconds remain before an unusual attitude is encountered. If no external visual references are available, such as flying over the water at night or an IMC, the likelihood of an upset increases. This condition of low power engine loss with the autopilot on has caused several aircraft upsets, which were not always recoverable. Flight control displacement or trim input indicators may be the only obvious indication that the autopilot is trimming the aircraft away from the coordinated flight. Vigilance is required to detect these stealthy engine malfunctions and to maintain a safe flight attitude while the situation is still recoverable but a slowly changing asymmetric thrust problem is not an easy one to detect. Symptoms may include multiple system problems such as generators dropping offline, low engine oil pressure, unexplained airplane attitude changes, significant differences between primary parameters from one engine to the next. If asymmetric thrust is suspected, the pilot must be prepared to make immediate rudder or trim inputs to avoid an uncommanded aircraft roll. The first response must be to make the appropriate rudder input or trim adjustment. Disconnecting the autopilot without appropriate control input or trim adjustments may result in a rapid roll maneuver. Different aircraft from different airframe manufacturers display different types of indicators to the pilot regarding the amount of trim the autopilot may be adding to the system. Consult your flight manual and training department to gain a full understanding of how your particular aircraft provides visual, audible, or tactile indications of the amount of trim being added by the autopilot. The sequence of events and severity of symptoms experienced during an engine malfunction may vary from the events shown in this video and from those experienced in a simulator. Engine malfunctions vary from one event to the next. The failures shown here were selected as relatively severe, but not the most severe that have ever occurred. Simulation of failures may be limited by simulator capability, which may not permit realistic levels of noise and vibration symptoms. Industry is currently addressing these concerns to enhance the simulation realism for such failures. This video is intended to provide general information on the characteristics of some high bypass engine failures and malfunctions. It is not intended to be an in-depth study of all possible engine failure modes. Specific remedial action to be taken in the event of an engine failure is published in the Airplane Flight or Operating Manual.